What is von Willebrand disease? It is the most common hereditary coagulation disorder. There are four different types, but we're mainly going to focus on type 1, which is the most common type. This is an autosomal dominant disorder that decreases the levels of von Willebrand factors, which are proteins that are required for plated adhesion. Normally, when an injury occurs to our blood vessels, the subendothelial collagen becomes exposed. This leads to the release of von Willebrand factors, which act as a linker molecule for platelets to bind to the collagen using glycoprotein 1B receptors, which are located on the surface of platelets. In short, this activates the platelet aggregation, which results in adhesion of other platelets using their glycoprotein 2B3A receptors and fibrinogen. Now, in case of von Willebrand disease, the decreased levels of von Willebrand factors is going to result in problems with platelet adhesion. Therefore, platelet aggregation does not get activated since there are no von Willebrand factors. This results in superficial bleedings such as easy bruising, nosebleeds, bleeding gums, bleeding after surgery, and some women may experience heavy menstrual periods and blood loss during childbirth. In order to diagnose von Willebrand disease, we first have to obtain a full history and do physical examinations. We have to ask detailed questions about patient's medical history since childhood, including specifics about past bleeding episodes, as well as any bleeding problems with their parents or siblings. We will also check for bruises or other signs of recent bleedings. Other more specific tests to do are von Willebrand factor antigen test, which determines the level of von Willebrand factor in patient's blood by measuring the von Willebrand factor protein. We can do restocetine cofactor activity. The idea here is that if you were to introduce restocetine to a patient's platelets who has normal amount of von Willebrand factors, it would cause the platelets to all aggregate together. But in the case of von Willebrand deficiency, since the patient is missing von Willebrand factors, rustocetine is not able to cause aggregation of the platelets. We can do factor 8 clotting activity, which is very important because you need von Willebrand factors to stabilize coagulation factor 8. And if you don't have von Willebrand factors, you're going to lose the stability of factor 8. We can do von Willebrand factor multimers, which evaluates the specific structure of von Willebrand factors in the patient's blood. We can also do platelet function tests, which measures how efficiently platelets are functioning in patient's blood. The laboratory findings include increased bleeding time, which is due to poor platelet adhesion, so we're not going to be able to seal off the damaged blood vessel quickly. Increased partial thromboplastin time, or PTT, Again, this is very important because you need von Willebrand factor to stabilize coagulation factor 8. And if you don't have von Willebrand factor, you're going to lose the stability of factor 8, and that's going to increase the PTT. Prothrombin or PT is going to be normal. Platelet count is also going to be normal because the platelets are available, they just can't aggregate due to von Willebrand factor deficiency. And of course, the restocetin test is going to be abnormal. Now, the treatment for von Willebrand disease focuses on stopping or preventing bleeding episodes, typically by using medications. With the right treatment, most people with von Willebrand disease can lead relatively normal and healthy lives. The treatment include desmopressin, which is a synthetic hormone similar to natural hormone vasopressin, and is given either by injection or more commonly through a nasal spray. It controls bleeding by increasing the release of von Willebrand factor and coagulation factor 8 from the endothelial cells. Another type of treatment is von Willebrand factor replacement therapy. This involves in an infusion of concentrated von Willebrand factor and factor 8 into the patient's veins. Contraceptives. These can be useful for controlling heavy bleeding during menstrual periods. The estrogen hormone present in the pills can boost levels of von Willebrand factor and factor 8 activity. Please support us by pressing the subscribe button and by sharing this video on your favorite social media website. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. For more videos, please visit our website at www.medical-institution.com.
Thank you and good luck.